So let us solve one more problem. So first let me read the question. Show that the area of the triangle formed by the tangent at any point on the curve x y is equal to c where c does not equal to 0 with the coordinate axis is constant. So that means the area formed by the tangent with the coordinate axis is constant. We need to prove. So that means in order to solve this problem, first let the point P x1 comma y1 be any point on the curve. Since that point lies on the curve, that must satisfy the curve. So we get x1 into y1 is equal to c. That's a very, very important factor to be remembered. So after that, we need to differentiate the curve x, y is equal to c with respect to x. So as to find out dy by dx. After that, at p x1 comma y1, we need to find out dy by dx. That is nothing but called slope of the tangent. Am I correct? So after finding the dy by dx at x1 comma y1, we need to find out equation to the tangent. The equation to the tangent can be obtained using the formula y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So this must be put in the form of slow intercept form. That is nothing but x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. As we know the x intercept and y intercept, the area of the triangle formed by the line x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 with coordinate axis is given by in straight lines you might have studied and you might have recollected the formula also half times x intercept into y intercept. So after prior simplification we prove that that is constant. So this is the process has to be followed. So let us solve the problem now. Solution. equation to the curve equation to the curve is x y is equal to c say equation 1 ok let p of x 1 comma y 1 B any point, any point on it. So you may get one doubt also. Why don't we consider parametric e equations? Even parametric equation also we can consider because it represents a rectangular hyperbola. We can take in terms of hyperbolic functions also, but it is an easier one. So we just assumed p of x1 comma y1. As the x1 comma y1 lies on the curve, it x for x1, y for y1 we have to substitute. That means x1 into y1 equals to c. So we get this one. C stands for x1, y1. This mere constant only. So now consider x, y is equal to c. So as to differentiate it differentiate with respect to x on both sides on both sides. So now differentiating with respect to x on both sides d by dx of x y equal to d by dx of c. So now, how can we differentiate x, y? Yes, using uv rule. So what does uv stands for? See, uv dash is equal to uv dash plus v u dash. So in differentiation, already we have studied this one. So now x, y differentiation is x into derivative of y dy by dx or sometimes you can write y1 or y dash. So no problem plus y multiplied by differentiation of x is 1 whereas constant differentiation is 0. Am I correct? So x dy by dx plus y equals to 0. 
now we need to find out dy by dx so x dy by dx equals to minus y what does dy by dx stands for yes minus y over x or minus y divided by x so now slope of the tangent slope of the tangent equals to m dy by dx at the point that is p of x1 comma y1 so now let it be evaluated substituting x for x1 y for y1 we get this equals to minus y1 by x1. So now we need to find out equation to the tangent. Equation to the tangent is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. This is the formula. So now here point is x1 comma y1 no problem only the m in terms of x1 y1 we have we need to substitute here. So now substitution is takes place y minus y1 only m means minus y1 by x1 times x minus x1. Here we have to keep in mind that it has to be put in the form of x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 just simple calculation we have to do it the bring y1 hit this side that's all so after prior simplification it can be put in the form of x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 in order to find out x intercept and y intercept of the equation of the tangent so now let us simplify this one so this can be written y minus y1 by y1 equals to minus of x minus x1 by x1 okay this we can write y by y1 minus y1 by y1 how much do you expect yes 1 so equals to this is minus of x by x1 minus of minus x1 by x1 how much do you get it yes it's also 1 so minus 1 so y by y1 minus 1 equals to minus x by x1 minus into minus plus 1 so we need to transpose the terms here from left hand to right hand side right hand side to left hand side so we get x by x1 plus y by y1 equals to 1 plus 1 2 multiply both sides with 1 by 2 or divide both sides by 2 also so that means we get like this x by 2 x1 plus y by 2 y1 equals to 1 How does it appear? It appears to be in the form of x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 form. This is called intercept form. That means 2x1 is the x intercept, 2y1 is the y intercept. So that means here a equals to 2x1, b equals to 2y1. So that means we need to recall the formula. The area of the triangle formed by the line x by a plus y by b equals to 1 with the coordinate axis with the coordinate axis 
axis is half times x intercept into y intercept of mod a b square units. So, now here required area. So, required area. So, what does mean by required area? So, that means this one area of the triangle formed by the tangent at any point on the curve with the coordinate axis that is called required area here. So, half times mod of here A stands for 2x1, B stands for 2y1. So, 2x1 into 2y1 this equals to half times 4x1 by 1. This can be simplified. So, for the 2 2 ja, 2x1 by 1 mod. What does x1 y1 stand for? Already in the previous session only we have discussed in the while developing the strategy of this problem. So, here x1 y1 nothing but c. So, c is replaced 2c. What does mean by 2c? c is constant. 2c is also a constant. So, that is why hence required area is always constant here is constant. See hence it has been proved. 